All right, hello, Easy Robot. This is Josh Starnes, and uh, this is Jarvis's shoulder gearbox provided by Servo City. Um, had to do a few things to the servo to be able to get it work. Had to completely disassemble it. Um, remove the potentiometer. It was a little bit harder than I thought. I thought it would just be kind of pressed in, but uh, apparently it uh, had a rod that went all the way through into a gear, which I had, had to remove from the top. Then I had screws holding it in and glue. So um, it was a little bit of a pain to get out. And then there was a small rod that was sticking out of the gear um, that keeps it from being able to go all the way around. And I couldn't pull it out, so I just went ahead and took the Dremel drill and just grinded it right off. Uh, once I did that, I was able to go ahead and start reassembling everything. Uh, this seemed to be the most difficult part right here because this servo didn't have um, long enough wire, so I had to pull the wires out the PCB, had to widen this hole so I'd be able to get um, wires through it, and there's no labeling on this potentiometer, so um, I had to guess to try to figure this out. I ended up restoldering it probably five or six times, something like that, uh, in different uh, combinations before I found the one that worked. Um, from there, I just had to put everything back together, put the gear back on it, and it's actually plugged up for power right now. I have my uh, Servo City controller, and it's pretty smooth. The only thing I don't like is once I get right to the end, it does that, which is really strange. Um, if I go all the way to the right, it just stops. So. I don't know why that does that. I'm not sure if I can just pull this off and maybe turn it just a little bit to keep it from doing that. But that's just lock to lock. Um, you can see basically how far it turns here. I have about 60 degrees of rotation in there. Kind of wish I had a little bit more. Um, I really thought I was going to have about 180 degrees, so I'm kind of disappointed in that. I'm not sure if I. Uh, just wired up the potentiometer wrong or something, but uh, pretty much looks the way the instructions tell me to do. If 360 or multi turn potentiometer is applied, solder will be able to wire to the top tab, brought wire to the center tab. I don't know, I'll ask them about it. If I can extend that, um, I might look into doing that because I don't, I don't like only having 60 degrees of rotation here. I don't want that either. But I do have to say it is really smooth. I mean, it is that. It's also very strong. Like, I can't, I cannot stop this with my hands. I can hold it and try it. It doesn't work, so. All right, we'll go ahead and post this. If you guys have any ideas of how I can uh, get more than about 60 degrees of rotation out of this, that would be awesome. Because um, I'd like them to be able to go uh, arms down to arms above the head. Um, so I'm not sure how I'm going to have to do that, but I'm not just have to deal with it right now. Um, and we'll go from there.